This video is on how to take a proper crossbar temperature in a multi-stage machine and why it's important. First thing we need to do anytime you enter a multi-stage machine is enter through the exit end and come up through the middle of the machine because that is much less disruptive to the airflow of the machine. So to do a crossbar temperature, this is important for proper machine operations to at least monitor how the machine is operating. We will do both the left and the right hand side. In this video, I'm just gonna take a picture of the right, we're just gonna do the video here at the right hand side and we would just mirror the same thing when we do the left. So first thing we need is a, <clears throat> uh, a digital electrotherm that we know has been calibrated and is accurate. That's critical. The next step is to make sure that we place the electrotherm or the probe at the crossbar. So this is at the junction here on the egg side. So let me get this situated. <clears throat> so the tip of my probe is sitting right here at the middle of this intersection. What we're going to do is then let that probe acclimate to the temperature within the cabinet. Usually takes about 10, 15 minutes or so. In a Super J machine at a set point of 98.8, we should have a 100.3 degree crossbar 24 hours after transfer. It's important that we do these at the same time. 24 hours after transfer. We should have 100.3 degrees uh, temperature on, our, on both of our crossbars. Now, <clears throat> if we have variations in our crossbar temperatures, that could be indicative of a number of things, such as airflow, such as egg pack, turning, um, dampers not working properly, your gaskets alongside um, either missing or in disrepair, your center door either um, in disrepair or not closed properly. It could also mean that you have curtains that are in disrepair or not properly hung. So it's important that we get the right crossbar temperature and at it at we're getting it on both sides of the machine evenly and like i said if we don't then we've got to dive into as to why we have that issue okay we've got our we've got our temperature here and we're at where we need to be at 100.3 so we are good and at this point, I will turn the, um, at this point, I think we're good to go.